everybody, welcome to today's video. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hi, my name is Nikki. I have a 19 month old, maybe 20 month old question mark. I'm also 18 weeks pregnant, so I'm working at like half brain capacity right now. So yeah, welcome here. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be talking about the Azaria La Mer Petite bag. I got this diaper bag before my son was born and we've been using it every day since. So it's been a bit of a tradition of mine that I'll do like an updated review and just kind of show, you know, as my son gets older, his needs change and that means what goes in the diaper bag changes as well. So this will be like my 18 month review. So everything we have in the diaper bag we've had since Noah turned 18 months. But yeah, so let's get into it. Someone asked not too long ago what the color of the bag was and I went back on the website because I was trying to figure out what color I got. I was able to find an old email receipt. So the color was actually in chestnut, which I don't know if that like the name changed for that color or if they just have different colors now. I feel like I didn't see that on there, but I think they had a similar color to this if it wasn't exact like chestnut color but anyways this is in chestnut what really drew me to this bag compared to other diaper bags on the market was that it just kind of had like a minimalist look to it there wasn't too much like bling or too much flair like the buckles i like that they're more of this like antique gold than like that very shiny almost like fake looking gold i guess but yeah i just wanted something that was like simple but also like beautiful and yeah looks like good quality so this definitely fit the bill so i'll take you on the little bag tour and show you what we got inside so starting from the back, I love that it has the option to wear it as a backpack. I didn't know if I wanted like a backpack or like wear it as a shoulder bag. And this had the option of both. So there was like a strap that came with the bag and you can just like hook it on here. So you could wear it that way if you want. I feel like backpack just makes sense. Your arms are free. It's just right there. But Everyone has their preferences, so this way you get to try both. There's also a deep pocket in the back, which is nice for just extra storage. I love storage. And we just keep the gather changing mat back there. I have it in, I forget what this color is. I think it was time. This is also held up incredibly well. It's not something we really use much anymore, but we've gotten a lot of use out of it in the past. These days though, we have a very wiggly toddler and we pretty much just change him standing up at this point it's a workout but this has held up so well and I would still highly recommend it we haven't taken it out just because you never know and because I am pregnant again we plan on getting more use out of this with baby number two and then on the sides we have two pockets I don't have anything in there right now but we usually keep his sippy cup which is the only thing I don't have today in the bag because it is in Noah's room we keep it on his dresser next to him when he's napping that way he can get up and have some water Water if he gets thirsty but yeah it's it's good room you can fit like a standard bottle or sippy cup in there so that is what we do for that and then moving on to the front of the bag we have another sort of deep pocket here there is a magnetic button and then in that front pocket we just keep his little bubbles they come on this like string so you could like wear it <laughs> as a necklace but this is our just like travel travel bubbles I guess but we've used this when needed to entertain a toddler you just you never know right so, so that has come in handy. Definitely recommend some <laughs> travel sized bubbles. So yeah, that's everything for the outside of the bag. Oh, there is also this zipper here. So you could keep stuff in there if you wanted to. We don't keep anything in there, but that is an option. As for the inside of the bag, this is what it looks like and I'll take everything out and show you, of course. We have like a smaller pocketbook that we normally keep in here, but it fell out in the car and we just haven't put it back <laughs> in the diaper bag. So I have the Very Hungry Caterpillar in there right now. But yeah, Noah loves books. Another way to entertain him, bring a book. I talked about storage. I love all the pockets. There's also a lot of pockets and compartments inside of the bag, which I'm obsessed with because because I don't like the free-for-all situation where you just throw everything in. Hope for the best, hope you can find it. Everything has its designated area. Big, big fan. So this back pocket here, we have um, some standard size wipes that do fit, but I always recommend going to Target and going into the travel section and just getting like the small packs of wipes. That way you just have more room in the diaper bag. And then right now we just have one, oh, a Cheeto just fell out of the diaper. This is reality with toddlers. 
<laughs> okay, so so yeah, we have this deep pocket here. It has a magnetic button that's easy to open. And then there's also an option. There's a zipper here so you can keep stuff in there as well. There's another Cheeto. There was definitely a little Cheeto explosion at some point. Anyways, <laughs> we usually keep at least like three to four diapers just in case, but we just haven't refilled it yet. I don't think we've gotten anywhere long enough where we need like multiple diapers. So that's why there's only like that one. There is also this little clip. So if you want something you don't want to lose, you can keep it <laughs> chained to that, which is nice. Just like another storage option. And then moving on to the compartments, there's one, two, three, four little pockets around the side. This pocket over here to this day, I have not emptied out. It is breast pads for like when you're leaking. <laughs> I just have some of those and they're still, but I'll be using those for baby number two. So I just, yeah, never took them out. And now I'll get used to them again. <laughs> In the pocket right next to it, we just have a little doggy bag like holder. <laughs> and then these are the extra bags. This is a great option for blowouts or for dirty diapers. If you're somewhere where you don't feel like comfortable throwing like a dirty diaper in like someone's trash can or like at a restaurant or something, you can always like keep it in a little baggie, throw it in the diaper bag, dispose of it when you get home. Or if they have a blowout situation or there's like a really gross spill or something on their clothes and you don't want it to get in the car or anything, you can put it in one of these bags, take it home and then wash it. So we have used this before for blowouts and cannot recommend it enough. It definitely, definitely came in handy. We haven't really needed it now that he's older, but was, it was very helpful for when he was younger. And now we'll be able to use it for baby number two. So we have this bigger pocket here where we just keep his pacifier wipes, I believe. We use this sometimes for like toys that he drops if he like puts them in his mouth. This is also the Munchkin brand, so it is non-toxic. So, you know, they can you can clean it and then they can put it in their mouth and it's safe to use. In this pocket over here, we have his sunscreen. It's like a Vino baby sunscreen, which is just like standard <laughs> SPF for kids. Moving on into the middle of the bag, into the main compartment. So like I said, we usually have a board book. We have a toddler now, so we have to have snacks at all times. Usually I always have a couple of these on hand. Fun fact about the pouches, we actually only use these to bribe Noah to get into his car seat because otherwise he will not sit down and we'd have to like hold them down at the whole thing. So now what we do is he will go into his car seat as long as he has one of these. So if you also have a toddler that refuses to go in the car seat, maybe try a pouch. <laughs> and we really only will do these like in the car seat or if we are out, they are like banned inside of the house now because he went on a food strike where he would only want pouches instead of like food. So these are only for car seat and outings, which I feel like make them extra kind of fun because he doesn't have them at home. <laughs> we also have boogie wipes. We haven't gotten a ton of use out of these. We have the pacifier wipes too. So it's like a little redundant, I guess. But yeah, Noah's like never been really like a, a boogery kid, I guess. Yeah, we just never really need it. So I don't know. Second to last thing we keep is his little um, mushy cups. He loves stacking cups. We also have some from Love Every that we keep here. So sometimes we'll like switch them out. But if we're going to a friend's house or something like that and you know, they don't have toys, then we have theirs and this can kind of come, come in handy and entertain him. So yeah, that is always in here. And then the last thing I have in the bag I've had from the beginning, but was like the only thing we really didn't need from the beginning, but it was something I knew we would need later on. And that's a little first aid kit. And we have used this. It just is like standard. I think I got in the travel section. Accidents happen, toddlers take spills, and it's just very helpful to have something around, especially with the like alcohol wipes to like clean their wounds or something, or having like Neosporin. That's something that I want to add to the bag because Again, yeah, scrape knees. It's good to just, you know, make sure you can clean everything. So that is everything that is in my diaper bag. I try and keep it minimal, just keep essentials. But again, there's just some things I just haven't taken out because we'll probably need it in the future for baby number two. A couple of last things I want to talk about is because we're having a second baby, what our plans are for diaper bag, etc. And then I was just going to show there's been a tiny bit of wear and tear on this now that we've had it for a year and a half. We've used this like pretty much every day. So interestingly enough, even though we don't use the strap option to use it as like a shoulder bag, there has been some wear and tear here and then on the other side as well. And then a tiny bit on 
the bottom corners and that's all pretty new so it definitely took a while for that kind of wear and tear to happen it is more of an expensive bag so i would just leave it up to you on you know whether or not that's worth it to you honestly it doesn't really bother me i still think it's in really great condition and it's had really good structure it's not like fading or anything anywhere else and because it is leather that could be something that on my part i may have needed to like keep up with like leather treatments or something i'm really bad with stuff like that so that could maybe just be like a user error but it's still good to know for me personally i just love this bag and compared to what else i've seen on the market like I just, I didn't really like anything else. So I also mentioned that I was pregnant. So we are having our second baby in February. And of course I was already thinking about like diaper bags and prepping and all of that. And I know some people will do like two diaper bags, like one for each kid, especially if you're dropping off for a play date, you can drop your toddler off like with their bag. But I was like, I don't know if I wanna like lug two diaper bags around either. So our perfect solution was to get the larger size so we're gonna get the regular size. So literally the same thing, but just in the regular size instead of the petite size. Again, this bag does not feel petite and it has been perfect for one child, but we will definitely need more space for our second. My idea is that in the bigger bag, we'll be able to have everything for two kids. And then we'll also have the option to have this as just like a separate bag. So if Noah does have a play date, if he's hanging out with the grandparents, something that requires him just needing his own like bag or supplies or something like that, then we have the option of a second bag. And then also, yeah, that option of one large bag for both of the kids stuff. That is the plan right now. I'll let you know if anything changes, but definitely expect a future review and what's in my diaper bag video for uh, when I'm prepping for baby number two. So I'll definitely have that ready for you and all those details figured out but that is the plan for right now as always if you have any questions or there's any details or anything i didn't go over that you want me to answer or cover just let me know just comment down below and i'll get back to you <laughs> all right well thank you so much for watching i hope this video is everything you needed it to be again comment down below if you have any more questions for me i'll get back to you and yeah i'm gonna end it here but take care of yourselves and i'll catch you in the next one bye